And now we get to the Russian ladies leading the way, Yelena Radionova, only 16 years of age. Third at the Cup of China, first at the Cup of Russia to qualify here at the final. And setting personal bests in the short and free and in the total at Russia. Getting better with every competition. She wasn't old enough to skate in the Olympics in Sochi, but she came out in the exhibition and totally wowed us and has continued to do so ever since. Is fearless. She really puts in a lot of energy into speed and attack. Ooh, had to fight for that one though. Got a little sloppy in the air. Big two foot on that Lutz. That'll simply be a quality deduction. She's had quite a big growth spurt this year, so perhaps she's finding the ice isn't quite where she expects it to be on the landing sometimes. That's true. I mean, how tall is she going to get? Mm -hmm. She has power, she has speed, and she did it. Nice combination, and that's what we're used to seeing. Triple, that's triple toe. She moves across the ice nice, but I'm going to sound like an ice dance coach here, but there's so much unfinished leg work. Um, I was just thinking that it all seems just a little bit frantic. Sometimes I'd like it to, as you say, take more time and enjoy the movement and the edges that she's obviously well capable of doing. generation nobody would be trying a triple off of that much lack of speed <laughs> this generation of skaters can manipulate time and space i guess well also the russian ladies are are like a shark tank you know if they if any of them smell blood in the water they're coming along behind you to take advantage of any opportunity that you give them like a never-ending stream of babies up to that moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course, skating to the theme song. And yes, some clips from Titanic. That is the Russian skater, Yelena Radionova. She is trying to improve on her silver medal from the Grand Prix final last year. 
Little fall near the end there, but overall seems to be pleased with her performance. We will have her marks when we return here, but there's another Russian who's been stealing the spotlight lately, and that is Evgenia Medvedeva, who is sitting in first after the short program. We will see if she can hold on to that lead when we return on Road to the Olympic Games. We just witnessed the skate of Yelena Radnyonova of Russia. I'm a fan of Elena. I, I love her energy, her enthusiasm, her showmanship. Um, I would work on getting those jumps clean at the ends, and that takes a lot of work, but also just finding a vehicle for her that doesn't showcase her. Looks so frantic. Thank you. Looks yeah. so frantic, frantic and unfinished. All the way through. But she has the potential. Look at those legs and those arms. She has so much ability to show off a line, but she, nothing gets finished. There's that sow cow out of no speed, and actually it was quite a nice one. Yeah. yeah. Tiny tumble at the end, just a one point deduction for that, as well as obviously quality control from the judges. Well, I guess a real juxtaposition in her style compared to Satoko Miyahara. But you know what they have in common is that they both, what I call, spin in the air. They don't rotate in the air, so they're spin jumpers. She needs 139.43 and does not get it. 131.70. And that will put her in second place. Oh, man. Yeah. She's doing it right now. 